If you've been thinking about buying a Marc Jacobs tote, this is the video for you because I've got all the sizes to show you. Hi my loves, welcome back. So this is going to be a really fun video, super informative video. It is going to be about the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. Now this bag has been so, so popular. These are the two I already own. And then I've actually purchased a few more. So I've got all the sizes to show you and probably you didn't even know one of the sizes existed. Now, I bought the sizes because my sisters were actually after different sizes, so I thought this would be the perfect video just to do like a size comparison. I'll be doing mod shots, general pros and cons. So if you've been thinking about getting this tote, then I'll be telling you everything about it and what I personally think and what is my favorite size. So the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag actually comes in five sizes. If you go on the website, it actually only lists four, but there is an extra large tote, which I believe is seasonal because I haven't seen it on the website. So as I said, these two I already own and love, so I'll go into that in a bit, but this is their newest size, which is the micro. And so one of my sisters, as you guys know, I'm the oldest of seven. So my younger sister loves little tiny bags. So she loved this white and I love it so much too. So this I actually got from Farfetch and you guys know I have been working with Farfetch. I've been a customer of Farfetch for, I don't even know how many years, probably like 10 years now. So I love shopping from them because they honestly have the biggest variety. And I have actually seen colors on there that I actually didn't even find on the Marc Jacobs site. So that's one reason why I love, love shopping with them. And also they are able to offer the biggest variety because they partner up like with probably around 3000 of the best brands and boutiques all over the world. So I do want to thank Farfetch for part sponsoring this video, but I have a lot of goodies to show you, not just this um, at the end of the video as well, but let's go through this first. Generally, the tote bags come in so many different variations, and that is why they're so popular because they come in the leather version like this, they come in canvas, they come in mesh, teddy fabric, I think the most latest ones is like a woven sort of raffi effect mixed in with leather. They come in sequence, like you name it, they've done it. And I understand why, because the price points are amazing. And honestly, they're really, really great bags. So the micro size is super cute. It is a tiny bag, but it actually fits all your essentials and more. It does also come with a removable shoulder strap. I'll also be doing mod shots of everything as well. And all the leather versions actually come with a Marc Jacobs dust bag. But just to let you know, the canvas versions do not. So you guys know I love this tote. I've actually given away two of this size already, one last year and one this year, and you guys love it. So let me know if you want another Marc Jacobs tote giveaway. But inside, the main difference between the micro and the mini is if you look inside the micro, there is no internal pockets. Whereas in this mini size, as you can see, I can pull it out. It does come with an internal pocket. It comes with a leather pocket here, which you can put a card in and another slip pocket here. So that is really the biggest difference because all the leather versions, whether it is the mini, the medium, the large, and even the extra large, they do come with internal pockets, but not in the micro. Another thing to note on the micro size is that all of them, every single one of them, and I guess that is one of the pros, is that it's got a zipper, a really smooth zipper. And also this version I notice doesn't come with, see how the zipper's longer? Usually it has a magnetic tab here, but the micro version doesn't have it. So for example, in the mini, it's got, you see that circle patch? It's got that magnet. And then inside the side strap, it sort of just holds it in, which I really like, but they didn't do that in the micro. Maybe they didn't need it because you can tuck it in. So it's not like 
a huge con, but that's just one thing that I did notice. On the micro, it's got no feet. And if you look at the back, all of them have the same features. As I said, this is not gonna be like an in-depth comparison, but all of them have this patch pocket at the back, which says, you know, Marc Jacobs, style of the tote bag, location NYC, year 1984. So all of them have that. If you look at this, this is just a very quick, quick comparison. I personally love the leather versions the most, though I have a canvas version to show you in the larger size. The micro and the mini do not have any feet, but the medium actually does. The leather in the large also does as well, but the canvas doesn't. So it's the canvas is a lot, lot cheaper. So that's probably why they didn't do that. But still, I think it would have been nice. I think on the mini size, it would have been nice to have the feet. It comes in so many different colors. And as you can see me wearing it, it looks great as a shoulder bag. It looks great as a crossbody bag. You can also wear it uh, on the crook of your arm, though the strap drop is you know, much smaller compared to, you know, obviously you can see with the mini easily. Look, I'm not saying I can get it up to my shoulder, but it, you've got a lot more space. So the micro bags, I'm actually going to put a slide from the Marc Jacobs site. I think they've just summarized it really, really well. They've got all the sizes there for you. So it's best just to look at there, but I will be doing a quick what fits inside this one just to show you because I think people are probably thinking it's a little bit small. So what fits in the micro, the tote bag? So it definitely fits a mini pochette and it also fits a bigger size card holder. So you can see no problem. I can still fit my Bastia in there. Got my car keys, got some mints. And you can even fit sunglasses in a soft case, though you won't be able to zip it up, but that is what it looks like fully packed. However, if you didn't want to pack such a large card holder, you would have a lot more space if just say I put my LV card holder in there. I can still fit a key clay in there. So there's like lots of space. And that way, if you wanted to put your sunnies in there, you can definitely zip it up as you can see. So packs quite a bit. They have had price increases, but I still think it's a really good price. It's definitely cheaper for all my US followers, but this comes in at 325 USD before tax. And for Aussies it's 630, which is way more expensive. Also interesting to note in the micro size, it doesn't come in the canvas, whereas in all the other sizes, it comes in the canvas. And I wouldn't be surprised if they actually make the micro in the canvas next time because these bags are so, so popular. So next up is the mini size. So let me just move this baby across here. And this size, even though it's called mini, it's actually not that mini. It fits a lot. You saw what already fit into the micro. So if you carry more than that, that would fit all in here and more. But the biggest thing I think you guys wanna know is, you know, I have had a lot of questions for the mini size, whether if it's, you know, a 13 inch MacBook. And as I showed on my table, it does not. And I think Marc Jacobs, you know, summarizes it really well there. It shows you what fits inside. So it will not fit a 13 inch laptop. However, it does fit an iPad. So this is Miss S's iPad. I just wanna quickly show you, no problem. See, it does fit in there. So if you are wanting the bag to fit a 13 inch, you will need to go up to the medium size. And I'm not gonna go through all the features again, because as I mentioned, all of them come with adjustable uh, and removable shoulder straps. But the micro strap, as you can see, is thinner than the mini strap, which kind of makes sense because, you know, I guess if this has more weight, you need, a, you know, you need the strap a little bit thicker to distribute the weight a bit more evenly. And again, some mod shots for you. You can see what the mini size looks like on me. I don't think it's too big. It's too small. It's just a great size bag that fits a lot in there. So if you're the type of person that carries a bit more, I would say this mini version may be better for you. Plus it's more, I find it a bit more comfortable because, you know, you can wear it on the crook of your arm more comfortably. Whereas in, in terms of the micro size, if you are wearing layers, it might be a little bit hard to get your hand in and out of if you did want to wear it as a top handle bag. But as I said, the pros 
are the same. Like what I love about these bags in general, price points are great. This leather version is so durable. I have been caught in the rain with this bag. I've used this bag quite a lot and the pebbled finish, I just love the pebbled leather. It is just super durable. I've just kind of wiped the rain away. So another thing I love about this bag in general is that you can wear it two ways. I mean, if you don't want it too logo-y, I know some people don't like the debossed logo where it says the tote bag, Marc Jacobs. You can always flip it around and just wear it with this patch where it's a little bit more, you know, low key. So I love the versatility of it. In the leather version, it comes with this pocket, but in the canvas version, it doesn't, just for the mini size. But when you're purchasing it, you can actually look at all the features and see what it comes with. But the leather version, as it's more expensive, definitely comes with more. So this one here, I also quickly wanted to show you, this does fit like a full size wallet. It won't <laughs> fit in the micro size, but in the mini, no problem at all. And something very interesting is that when I was online, I saw that in terms of all the sizes, the mini size actually has the most colors. So I guess the mini size is their most popular. Though of course there are plenty of colors available in the other sizes as well. Okay, so this is my medium. Again, I chose it in leather because I loved my mini leather version so much. A few of you guys may get confused because this medium used to be called the small, but they changed it to medium, which probably is more fitting because it really is a medium bag and it's not a small bag. And again, the pros are the same for all of them. The only thing is with the medium, it does, you know, come with feet, which I'm really glad it does. I actually don't think I've shown you this bag before, but yes, because I loved my mini so much, I did purchase this again from Farfetch. So you can actually use my code. I totally forgot to mention this at the start of the video, but you can use my code MIMFARFETCH10 to get 10% off your first order. If you have been a Farfetch customer before, you can just, you know, sign up using your partner's email or something like that, but it applies to all Marc Jacobs. And you'll find Marc Jacobs are going on sale less and less. Well, especially in these classic colors, sometimes in the seasonal colors or in the teddy or mesh fabric, occasionally they can go on sale. But yeah, for the most part, because they're priced so well, they don't really go on sale. So in terms of the price for the mini in leather, so my color is cement, it is now 395 USD and 765 Australian dollars. If you wanted to buy the canvas versions, it's significantly cheaper. So the mini size in canvas is 175 USD, fabulous price point, and $340 AUD. But also interesting, in the canvas, they don't have as many colors as the leather. I think in the leather, there was like 11 different colors on the website, but I, I believe in the mini in the canvas, there might be about six. And then if we go to the medium, the price of the medium in leather, and for reference, this color is rose. I think this is one of the colors they do all year round. So this leather version in USD is 450, and in Australian dollars is 870. And if you wanted the medium in canvas, it is only 195 USD and 380 Australian dollars. So those, I would say these three are probably the most popular sizes. That's why I wanted to do these three kind of all together. But this one here, I have to also show you if you want to use this bag, this makes a great work bag. Again, it comes in a lot of different colors in both leather and canvas. It absolutely does fit a 13 inch laptop, no problem. As you can see, let me just take my dust bag and strap out. It fits a 13 inch laptop. And also if you wanted to use it for work, if you've got any sort of folders, not a problem. I've used this as a work bag as well and you know, there is plenty of room. So I'm not gonna do a what fits inside because obviously whatever fits into the micro, fits into the mini, fits into the medium and so forth. But I think what was important to show is whether it fits the, you know, my 13 inch laptop. So it really depends on your needs, what you want it for, but there's just so many pros to this bag. So in summary, these two, the only cons I would say is that it doesn't have feet, but it's not really a con to me. And also, you know, some people don't really like the logo emblazoned there, 
but I think especially on the leather version because it's debossed, it's not that noticeable. I'll show you in the canvas version. It is a little bit more noticeable because it's in contrast. But as I said, you can just flip it around and wear it this way. I did see that Marc Jacobs actually released the tote bag and they don't have the one emblazoned with the tote bag. It just actually comes with the patch logo. So that was interesting. That's a new season arrival. But honestly, you can't go wrong with any of them. I love them. I mean, I think that if my sister doesn't want this, I might even keep it for myself or pick another color from Farfetch and just use my own discount code as well. But if you want a bag for work or study, go with the medium. You can see me carrying this. It doesn't look humongous as well. It looks great as a handheld shoulder, probably not as nice crossbody, but it's good to have that option if you did want it. And then if you want a bag more for every day, the mini and the micro are both great everyday bags. It just depends on how much you carry. So just before I show you the large, the outfit that I'm wearing, which I showed you on all the mod shots is, this is actually a new brand I wanna introduce you to. Again, I got it from Farfetch. It's a brand called Sabina Musayev. And it's my first piece from her, but I really, really love it. I love that the sleeves are elasticated. I think it's called the Poetic Blouse. I love the little bit of lurex through it. And I actually like it that it's got an elasticized waist. And so when you can see when I'm pairing it with denim, which these jeans as well are from Mother. Mother jeans are so comfortable. And a little tip for you guys, if you're not that tall, for reference, I'm only 164 centimeters tall. I always like to buy the cropped length and you don't have to take it up because it kind of fit, fits like uh, the perfect length for me. So both of these are from Farfetch as well. So I also love Farfetch for that reason because I'm always discovering new brands. These are at really good price points and my code works on both of these. And you saw like in all those three colors, it goes with this top. So I just quickly wanted to mention that. And then this is the large Marc Jacobs tote. So this is in canvas. The reason why I selected this in the canvas version was one, as I said, this is actually for my sister. So she wanted a large sort of like, not a nappy bag, but it actually works really well as a work bag or a nappy bag or a travel bag because of the size. Now inside, I just wanted to try, I've just got an organizer in there. Oh, I forgot to mention, one con that people have said is that there's not a lot of internal pockets. It only comes with this slip pocket, which I showed you before. So sometimes if you don't have an organizer or something in there, you can be rummaging around for things, but then that's easily rectified if you want an organizer. So the only thing about the canvas version is, see when I took, the organizer out. It definitely doesn't hold its structure as well as say the leather version. So this larger tote also comes in the leather version, which is gorgeous as well. But my sister was after something a little bit lighter. So another pro for the canvas is that it's more lightweight than the leather. But if you fill up any bag, it's going to get really heavy. So that is just a quick comparison between the large and the medium. Now, the biggest thing that you will see that's the difference is this is really a shoulder bag. The larger does not come with a strap. And I, I think it would look a little bit silly with a strap because this handle drop is so long. So as you can see me, you know, wearing it, it's really a shoulder bag. I mean, you can hold it handheld as well, but really it's, truly just a tote. And then, as I said, in the canvas versions for the medium and the large, it does come with this pocket, but in the canvas versions for the other two, it doesn't. So another thing that you guys have told me is that in the canvas, especially in the darker colors like black, it can pick up lint or hair and stuff. I mean, Chino and Chai were near this bag. I see one little piece of cat hair, but not really that much. But in saying that, I haven't used this yet. But I can see why a fabric version would attract lint. So just bear that in mind. So if you need a bag uh, to hold and your laptop is more than a 13 inch, you will need to go for the large because a 15 inch uh, laptop will not fit in this medium bag. It will fit in this one, however. So this has got plenty, plenty of space. So my sister's coming over to try this on. I think this 
This is actually a very stylish nappy bag. It fits heaps in there. So if you want something for work and you've got a bigger laptop, go for this one. So this one here in the canvas, in USD, it's only 225 and in AUD, it is 435. And if you wanted the leather version, it is 595 USD before tax. And in AUD, it is 1,150 Australian dollars. I know, right? So much more expensive for us Aussies. But either way, it's still great value because in full leather, it's a big bag. So still being at 1,100, by the time you use my discount code, it will take it just about, you know, around a thousand dollars, which is really, really good value. So that is the large. And as I said before, just take note, the canvas versions do not have feet, but the leather version of this does have feet, you know, like the medium. So that is the large. Okay, are you ready for a ludicrously capacious bag? <laughs> So this, you guys might not know, even existed. I don't think I've seen anyone feature it, but it does come in an extra large version, which you cannot see on the website. Actually, let me move this over here and then move this one here. All right, just to see the size comparison difference. This is mammoth. Like look at my face and then look at this. Inside, I've actually got a cushion in there. So this version here, I only found it on Farfetch. So that's why I love Farfetch because if I can't find anything, usually Farfetch has it because they have access to so many boutiques around the world. And I got this, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but this is actually a new style. This sort of uh, monogram Marc Jacobs does come in the large as well, but this is the Jacquard. I think in terms of price point, this is sort of like in between. So you've got your canvas, which is like really well priced, and then you've got the Jacquard, which is more mid, and then you've got the leather. But this one is a bit more because even though it's uh, the Jacquard, it is lined with leather on the trim or the piping, and then the handles have that little bit of leather as well. And then if I turn the bag around, it still has the logo patch. So that's what I mean. When you go to the fabric versions, it's not debossed. You will see that this is printed on, so you will see the tote bag. So this is much more apparent, like the logo on the material versions than on the leather versions. So if you wanted something more low key, then maybe you prefer the leather versions. But I don't think it's too much. I mean, I love a little bit of logo, but just something to take note if you don't want anything too logo-y. But honestly, the large size is still really popular in leather and in canvas because of the price point. I don't know when you would need this. It's almost like a little bit ridiculous, but I kind of love it. All right, so if you see me mod shotting this, this looks like a gigantic bag. And I actually do not know if you can bring this on, you know, to the plane, it might be too big, but if you're going on a weekend trip, it is great. So I've got a fat cushion in here, but just to show you the interior. So this interior, again, as I said, it comes with this pocket and the card holder, and this one has two slip pockets. It is just honestly one gigantic space. So this one here, if you want organization, you probably need some sort of insert, but I think this is just like a great weekend bag and it's actually a great talking point. I have not seen this on the Marc Jacobs website and I did see, however, because I bought the last one from Farfetch, but they do have a plain black one in the extra large four. So for all my guy viewers out there and you want a really big bag, get it because it's still really, really well priced. I will link everything I've mentioned down below, but yeah, Farfetch is the only place that I've seen that has the extra large size. So again, the extra large size, purely only a shoulder bag or hand carry bag. It does not come with an additional shoulder strap. It would look probably crazy with it, but you know, because of the weight, it might've been good if they had just the option of having a shoulder strap. So they may, that may be a con for the large or extra large size. So that is the last Marc Jacobs tote size. And then I just quickly wanted to show you a couple of pieces I picked up from Farfetch. I'm actually wearing this tonight to dinner. I love this so much. I bought this dress from Farfetch. It's from one of the brands that we all know and love. It's a Marge dress. And as you can see, it's sort of, kind of similar to this top, but it is a dress. Love the elasticized waist. 
Just love this navy blue color. I love it when it has that little bit of lurex through it because it's a little bit more dressy and you know my style is pretty dressy. And I'll list all the sizes I got down below. This is so comfortable. It looks so elegant. I love that it is tiered and what I've paired it with. And I blame this purchase on you because a lot of you guys said, Mel, you've got to try this handbag brand. So I've actually already taken it out, but I got this embossed crocodile leather clutch. It is from the brand Demelia London. And yeah, guys, I'm impressed. This bag is such a good price point. It's harder and harder to find bags that like are under a thousand. This is probably closer to like the five, six hundred dollar price point. And this is a clutch that, you know, it's got the top handle like that. It actually gives me a little bit of Hermes Kelly Cut vibes, but it's not as long. So I really like this. It doesn't have a back pocket and to open it up, it's a push lock mechanism. And inside it does come with a dust bag, but another reason why I love it is that it has this chain inside. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag as well, or you could just tuck it in and it becomes a clutch. So inside the bag, it is just fabric line, it's just black canvas. It's got a zip pocket and a slip pocket here. So great for organization. Just a very, very well-priced bag. It's actually really similar to my Kate embossed leather crocodile bag from Saint Laurent, but this price point is obviously thousands of dollars cheaper. I actually like the gold tone hardware. I think that is a feature that Demelia have on a lot of their bags. So I'm definitely interested in exploring the brand more. I think their bags are either made in Italy or Spain and the price point is amazing. So definitely do check out this brand as well. It's not just like these type of bags I have, they have like more casual styles as well. So that is what I'm actually wearing tonight. So quickly wanted to show you that. And so the final piece that I found on Farfetch, total bargain from Japan. And it is this vintage Celine shoulder bag and it is in great condition. So the Triumph logo, as you can see, the Triumph logo is so popular now in Celine, but they did it many, many years ago. And this is, it definitely looks vintage. It is well loved, but the canvas is still in great condition. And it's just very simple, just leather on the inside. So as you can see, there's actually a little pen mark in there, but getting it for like $650, I was wrapped. And it's, yeah, it's also adjustable in terms of the strap. So I can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder. It's just a great casual bag. So definitely do check out Farfetch's pre-love section. Some of the things are really expensive, but some of the things you can find really great gems. And um, actually Sunshine found this jacket. I've never heard of this brand before, but it looks so cute on him. I think it's called Chocolate. I just call it chocolate because it looks like chocolate, but <laughs> it's so cute. It's this blue jacket with this cute little bear and he loves this jacket so much. As you can see, he looks, it, he loves it. It looks really, really good on him. So that's something that I got for him as well. So really on Farfetch, it's something for everyone. So guys, that is it for this video. Just a few new ins I wanted to show you, but really it was all about the Marc Jacobs tote bag. So to answer your question, what is my favorite size? My favorite size is definitely the mini. I like to carry a, a few more things. So this size really suits my lifestyle, but honestly, I love the medium and you know, I'm gonna get a micro for myself as well. But yeah, this is just the perfect sort of in-between size. But honestly, as I said before, you can't go wrong. The pros to me far outweigh the cons and I might need to get one of each for all my collection now. So guys, thank you so much. Please comment below, what is your favorite size in the Marc Jacobs tote? I think from this video, you've seen all the different sizes, you've seen what they look like on me. So you should be able to make an informed choice on what suits your needs the best. So don't forget to use my Farfetch code, MIM Farfetch 10 to get 10% off your first order. I'll leave everything down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!